What's going on Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media platforms? Welcome to Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense, which, as you know, is very hard in this day and age because there's a lot of nonsense. I like to start off by saying that I can never, ever, 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 ever vote Democrat again. In fact, I don't even understand how I voted Democrat for the first 25, 26 years of my life. I think I threw in the towel right around 25 or 6, something like that. But I, I even look back and I go, where was my mind that I couldn't see all the crap and the manipulation of the Democratic Party during those years? But I think my mind was on the Democratic plantation. That's where it was. From all of the years of them manipulating us, telling us, we're for you. We're for the people. We the ones that care. We wear the white hats. Mm -hmm. lies all lies man it's crazy how some of these congress people are put in the office and i'm going who voted for you how did you if the lady who spoke out and revealed what she felt or thought the conversation was between donald trump and the five star um the gold star um young man who was killed um when i looked at her get on tv Soon as I saw her, I was like, you believe this woman? Are you kidding? This is what you guys, this is your first team? This, these are your starters you're throwing out in the media and you want us to actually respect or accept her opinion or her interpretation of what happened? She looked like she should be in a rodeo clown activity or something. Like she should be in the derby with the big red hat. She don't even look, it's not even a cowboy hat. She looks like a rodeo clown. And I'm going, when she ran for whatever district and got up there with those flamboyant colors, who are the people that said, just based off of looking at her and her social awareness, I think she'd make a good congresswoman. If she can make it in Congress, I'm running tomorrow, y'all. I mean, just matter of fact, forget the election. I should win on a landslide. If that is their first team, their number one starters that they've thrown out, Pelosi, she's horrible. Her stats are garbage. Uh, Mad Maxine, she's nuts. She's crazy. Uh, Chuck Schumer, he's flip floppy. He's crazy. He's nuts. And they parade them out there to combat Donald Trump, to combat conservative views, and to spew out all kind of propaganda. For her to sit back and try to politicize the death of this young soldier is disgusting. I listened to her doing an interview and she went straight into, and Donald Trump's crazy. I'm going, from the looks of that big hat you have on, you're crazy too. But what kills me is this. Let's just say, first of all, General Kelly destroyed her the other day during the press conference. In any liberal media or outlet or anchor person that tries to follow up behind that and justify this lady's actions is a fool. And they're going to go down with the ship. But let's just say Donald Trump did say what he said. Do you really think that considering the amount of support that Donald Trump has given to our military and the amount of support that he has given to our police officers, the amount of support that he's given to the, the wives and the mothers of fallen soldiers, do you really think he picked up the phone and said, yeah, yeah, he knew what he was getting into. <laughs> yeah, but even though I know it, I know it still hurt, but he knew what he was getting into. Like in the context to try to offend her. Do you really think that happened? I mean, what practical, logical thinking person without listening to the conversation and hearing the context themselves would come to the conclusion that that is what he said. Only a person who's looking to smear Donald Trump and to undermine him and to further paint him as an evil, insensitive man. Only people like that. Only people that are just plagued by Dr. Evil syndrome would do something like that. And for her to get out there, she's an embarrassment to the Democratic Party. First of all, y'all should be shaming yourself. If that's your starter, if that's who you're building your franchise around, you're not going to win a game. Secondly, she's an embarrassment to African-Americans and Latinos. I don't even know who she is. She, I don't know if she's black, Latin. She got a Latino last name or first name, rather. But nonetheless, she's an embarrassment. 
She's an embarrassment to Congress. She's an embarrassment to politics. She's an embarrassment to all the mothers and wives of fallen soldiers. For her to take a private conversation and politicize it is absolutely ridiculous. And General Kelly destroyed her yesterday. And they need to go pack her up somewhere and ship her off somewhere because she is doing more damage to the Democratic Party and, of course, the, 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 the Senate and whoever else, the Senate, the Congress, all of that. So when I see people like that, I'm going, where did y'all dig her up? What what goes through the minds of voters who look at her and say she's a legitimate representative? I've never seen a conservative come out like that. I've never seen a conservative take something so sensitive like a conversation trying to comfort a mother or a wife, rather, and try to politicize it immediately. And the Democrats, they are notorious for this type of behavior and they do not realize that that is the biggest turnoff in the world it's the biggest deterrent for any practical thinking person to take them seriously to vote for them they have watered down playing the race card and the partisan politics and the identity politics so much that i can't even take it serious anymore they have divided this country to the point that if you leave it up to them, we won't know the difference between America and any other country when it comes to loyalty, patriotism, nationalism, pride in our country, pride in our flag, pride in the national anthem, proud in our soldiers, proud in our police officers, our firefighters, our public servants. They will wipe out every sense of gratitude and pride that we have left in the country if it was up to them because all they do is try to find victims whether there is a victim or not see that's the problem they're going saying you know what there's a victim out there today and i'm gonna go find them they're like police ambulance chasers rather the 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 the, the slimy lawyer that just sits back on his radio like okay an accident i'm on my way you know chasing down the ambulance i mean they come across like sleazy cars used car salesmen you know when you hear them get up there and obviously spew out garbage that makes no sense has no real reasoning and then somebody who's reasonable practical get up like uh, general kelly and destroy them now all of them along with the liberal media who supported this narrative got big fat egg on the face and it further makes practical thinking americans look at the liberal media and say, why don't we push all of them right off a big fat cliff? Unbelievable. So she need to take her big flamboyant red, blue hats, all of that stuff that she's wearing. I looked at her uh, at the Senate meeting or something. She was sitting up in there, everybody suit and tie. You know what I'm saying? It, bam, up in here. Everybody, the women, all of them dressed professional. And then she's up there with a big fat novelty hat. It looked like she got it from the carnival or something unbelievable and i'm supposed to take you serious it's ridiculous it don't make sense man but you know what i say can't make sense out of nonsense anyway you know my model truth is now the new hate speech so who knows how long my video is going to be up before they demonetize it support check out the links in the bottom subscribe pass it on by the way i want to thank everyone for listening to kevin's corner a lot of people said i'm in kev's corner and I broke 100,000 views and beyond, finally, and I appreciate that. Um, so we'll see uh, what goes on next and what the next topic is. But I just had to talk about the big hat-wearing lady who have the nerve to go out there and try to politicize this situation. I'm going, wow, y'all starting lineup for the Democrats is horrible. Horrible. Get her out of there. Bench her. Clean her locker out. She's misrepresenting the whole team. All right? She's no good for business. Kevin Corner.